Hi, I'm Rosalie Fiorino Harpel, and I'm here this afternoon to teach you a great dish, pasta con broccoli, right out of my book, Rosalie Serving Italian. This is a great dish, and you're just going to love it. Pasta con broccoli, right here on page 132. It's awesome. I can't wait till you get it. All right, we're going to start off with shells. Just put them right into your hot boiling water. Because this dish cooks so fast, it's going to catch up right with us. We're going to go ahead and stir that real good. And just make sure that it's going to be boiling in just a minute. Over here, we've got our stove on. And we're going to go ahead and plop in our butter. A fourth cup of butter and a fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil. This is going to be the basis of our sauce. There's our fourth cup. Right now, we're going to go ahead and just let that saute together with our garlic. We want at least three tablespoons. So, because this is going to be awesome. That garlic is going to come right through and oh, it's going to give us the best we need. At least three. Don't worry. It won't be too much. Right now we've got that pot just a soup can you hear it? We're going to put in a bunch of broccoli florets and mushrooms. We're going to put that right in there and let those sauce stay together right with our garlic. Can you hear that? Oh, it's so good, guys. It's really, really delicious. Probably about two cups of your mushrooms. Okay? We're going to go ahead and sprinkle that with just a little bit of salt, not too much, because our cream is going to put, our cream and our cheese is going to put a lot of the salt in there. Be sure to use your cracked pepper really good in this dish. Go ahead and just sprinkle that in there good. And you don't want to cook the vegetables too much because they'll become too limp. And they'll be soggy. You really want them to be crisp tender. Oh, can you smell that? I know you've got to smell it. Here's our whipping cream. We want four cups. I like a lot of sauce with my pasta. With a pound of shells, this is going to be a lot of sauce, but it'll be nice and creamy. My dad used to say, now don't be tight. Use a little more so that people can get a good taste. All right, so there we are. We're going to reach over here and get our cheese. I get this big cheese from Sam's Club because when you start cooking Italian, guys, you're going to need it. And we want four cups of this cheese into our wonderful pasta con broccoli. Whoops, we're going to come back here and stir our noodles. Our shells are cooking. So we're going to be ready just about the time this sauce is. So there's our sauce. We're going to add four cups of cheese. And we're going to do that one cup at a time. And that was about a half a cup, so we're going to go ahead and add another one. There's our first cup. Now, the trick to this is just keep it stirring. Don't let that cheese get all gummy. Make sure that it just stirs right into the cream. It takes just a little time, but it'll be ready before we know it. And you're going to love this dish. This is the kind of dish that you can make when company calls and say, Hey, we're coming over. What's cooking? And you'll say, pasta con broccoli, because I can make it in 15 to 20 minutes. There's our first cup, and it's all just worked in there so good. Here's our second cup. Remember, we're going for four cups of cheese. So we want to just keep that going. Work it right in there. And notice that the broccoli and the mushrooms are still crisp tender. And that's what we want. We don't want them mushy and all pureed. We want them nice and crisp tender. Look how beautiful that sauce is looking, guys. Wow. The cheese is just working in there so well. We want to put our third cup in now. Oh, my goodness. This is just going to be so good. Just keep working that in. We have our heat turned up to medium high so that it's cooking fast but not burning. And that's the trick with pasta con broccoli. 
We want to work our cheese in and get it melted in, but we want to constantly stir it so that it doesn't burn. Here's our last cup of cheese. Wow, we've just about done this in five minutes. There's our cup. And we're going to work that right on in. And to top it off, we're going to add about two to three ounces here of Velveeta cheese. Now, a lot of people say, Rose, well, you're not Italian using Velveeta cheese. I say, I know. But one time I was trying to get this together and it just didn't seem to be thick. So I thought, I'm just going to use a little bit of my Velveeta cheese. And you know what? It added just the touch. It was creamy, wonderful, and nobody could tell it was in there. So I won't tell them if you won't. But it does make a difference. And our shells are just about ready. Wow, this is a dish that's going together so fast. Our sauce is actually done. It just needs to melt that cheese in there good. Notice how those broccoli and that mushrooms are still crisp tender. That's what you want when you eat this dish with the fettuccine or with the, with the shells. Either way, you could also make your uh, Alfredo sauce the same way and use the fettuccine noodles. Great sauce for that. Great sauce to just pour right over your breaded pork chops or your grilled chicken. So many things you can do with Alfredo sauce. And you know what? Our sauce is done. And when it sits there, it's going to actually get a little bit thicker. So we're going to clip that off, and it's going to be done. And now we're just going to drain these noodles and add it to our noodles. Our noodles are just perfect. And we're going to go ahead and drain them. And whenever, anytime you want to make the pasta, make sure that it's all dante and not overly done. Never, ever put olive oil in the pasta water. I really don't know where that came from. But you want the starch left on the pasta because that's what's going to adhere to the sauce. So we're going to give that a little bit of shake and put it right into our beautiful bowl. There's our shells. They've only been cooking about five to six minutes. Don't overcook them. That would be terrible. And here's our beautiful sauce. And it's all ready. We're going to flip it right on over into that pan. Wow, look at that, guys. That is beautiful. And now we're just going to go ahead and put it into another bowl so you can actually get a good glimpse of it. All we need. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're going to set it right on our table and dip it up. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's so beautiful. You can leave it in this big bowl, but if you want to just put it on the table in portions like this, then you still got it there left in your big bowl. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And it is so good. Notice we've got plenty of our sauce. And we just want to keep that nice like that. Isn't that gorgeous? There's our dish. Let's add just a little bit more cheese on there. Wow, that is just too beautiful. Pasta con broccoli in all of 15 minutes. Actually, I don't even think it was that long. So, have fun tonight while you eat this wonderful dish. And pick up my book, Rosalie Serving Italian. Join my newsletter. It's a lot of fun. I usually try to write something interesting. And I'll keep you up on my upcoming events. And you'll get a free newsletter. www.rosalieserving.com Thanks and happy cooking Italian.